and fans and followers so this month of may is the motorcycle safety awareness month and ink sisterhood together with i ride for helmet have a campaign dubbed nicheki and what nicheki means is that look out for me when we are on the road let's share the route and look out for each other so every day i'll be sharing with you my experience on the road in different capacities that i'm going to be on the road as mostly i'm a rider a driver or a pedestrian so today is the first day that i share my experience i'm also going to capture nani alinicheki who looked out for me na nani hakonicheki who ignored my presence or did not see me or did not look out for me unfortunately today i have more of those who did not look out for me than those who looked out for me i started my journey on the motorcycle today from my home in on naivasha road and my route was through kawangware all the way gong road and then down to nairobi hospital into fairview hotel and back through the same route back home so when i left in the morning i left home at around nine o'clock and when i got to kawangware today being a tuesday was a market day and so it was a busy busy market there was overlapping we had mokoko tennis that's the carts we had matatus we had buses we had personal cars and everyone on the road being nine o'clock then you have more of commercial vehicles than private vehicles and so the road was clogged there was nowhere i could lane split or anywhere to just make sure i can get out of it but i experienced a lot of tailgating then i got to I got to Gong Road and my experience on Gong Road, two people, specifically two people. One was a pickup just before, as you join the, okay, as you leave Naivasha Road to join Gong Road, that turn there, there was this pickup, big pickup. I can't remember the make or the model, but this guy just decided, well, I don't have the patience to wait for you to join and wait for the traffic lights to turn green. He overlapped and pushed me into the middle of two cars. Moving on, we had someone join the road down past Yaya Junction, join the road without a care of who's coming. I watched that happen to someone else. It was a car to a car. And so I was safe, but the car had to swerve into the next car. Moving on, I was safe all the way until I just got just before Fairview Hotel. When you join that road behind um, the road that is um, the Bishop Road or something like that. The road that is between Gong Road and um, Valley Road. Yeah, that one. So there's a place where the embassy of Israel is and so they have barriers there and they have security there, government security or uniformed security and they usually stop you and then they ask you where you're going and if they feel you're just using that road to just take shortcuts, they might ask you to turn back or take an avenue and join the main road which is Gong Road. So there was a track on the road which was actually repairing potholes and so there was only one lane one lane available and when i was coming there was two cars in front of me and i could see i had a clear view of the vehicles that were waiting on the other side for these two cars in front of me to pass so that they can also pass as soon as the two cars passed and i was now in and just adjacent to the track the guy on the other side decided wow zoom in come it's my way it's my right this motorcycle can get off the road and find another route so i screeched because i didn't expect that this guy would be driving that fast to come and try squeeze in between me and the truck to turn into an avenue i screeched fishtailed that was it those are the people who did not check in on me coming back home the ride was smooth from Fairview Hotel all the way to Gong Road until Poster. Coming to Poster, there was someone driving and driving with a child in the front seat. This child looked like six years, seven years, a little boy. Front seat, not seated, not belted up, actually standing to have a clear view of what is in, happening in front of the car. So this guy is driving without, I think he was focusing so much on what the baby was telling him and he also was on the phone and so he was highly 
distracted. The light went into red, but he didn't realize. So he screeched, heartbreaking, to stop. And there was someone else who was right behind him who did not think that this guy has not realized that the lights have gone red. And so the guy came to his side to ask him, boss, you have a child seated in front of you. What are you doing? And the person who was in front of him for him to do a heartbreaking was me. And the guy in the other car really told this guy off. Of course, um, it wasn't a nice uh, exchange of words because this guy thought who are you to tell me how to drive who are you to tell me how to behave he was a bit rude and the other guy started telling him you cannot talk like this in front of your child it is not nice for you to use those words you're using and calling me those words in front of your child anyway it was a nasty exchange of words so when we moved from that traffic light to the next he happened to be right next beside me and i politely asked him boss I want us to kubaliane. Kusema ukweli, you made a mistake. And he started saying, no, where was this guy? Did you see the lane he was? But this guy went to that lane to simply tell him what you've done is wrong. Because he saw how close he braked and got near me. He argued with me and I told him, all I'm trying to tell you is, the person who the two of you or you would have put in so much injury and pain is me. It is me you were going to hit. I didn't understand why you're insulting this other person, why you were so offended that he told you what you did was wrong. It is me you were actually going to put in danger. I said nothing to you, but I'm saying to you now, be careful and be careful of your child. Mind that child that you have in front of you. You shouldn't have a little child at the front seat, not secured with a belt, standing because if that breaking you did, you hit another car your little boy would have been talking, you would be talking a different story. That's my today's story of Nicheki, Nanyali Nicheki, na Nani Haku Nicheki. What's your story? What did you go through today? Nanyali Kucheki, na Nani Haku Kucheki. Let's share these stories. Let's let the public know that this is what actually goes on on our roads and we need to be safe and we need also to look out for each other and more so practice road safety whenever we are driving, riding, cycling, walking. Okay. Have a good night and remember to check it.